Hello, my name is Brandon Ray. I'm a member of Team Athena. Our team is composed of students from three institutions, which are Johns Hopkins University, North Carolina State University, and Southwestern Indian Polytechnic Institute. The challenge every team worked on was to build an augmented reality heads-up display for astronauts performing lunar EVA missions. The display would aid them in the collection of geology samples, repairing a pressurized moon rover, navigation to and from work sites, and also be able to display spacesuit telemetry data and warning messages. This system must also be able to adapt to extreme lighting conditions and provide an intuitive, unobtrusive user interface to the suit wearer that can interface with other space systems. To make our apps intuitive and easy to use, we utilize buttons that are sized to be reliably air tapped using the gaze cursor. The buttons may also be selected with voice commands by reading the button text. UIA. Oh. Stream. Ugh. Our Vitals application gives the astronaut a clearer display of their spacesuit telemetry data using a green, red, and yellow color scheme. The color scheme gives an intuitive indication of each condition from optimal to dangerous. Using voice commands helps to reduce fatigue from moving against a pressurized spacesuit and provides a backup interface option. The white font on a gray background was found to be the most legible in various lighting conditions. The Moon Rover Tire Repair and Geology Sampling apps lead the user through the process in concise steps crafted to provide unambiguous step-by-step -step instructions the astronaut can scroll through. Repair. Start repair. Next. The apps are designed to use the HoloLens' ability to track the user's head movement to keep the application in the user's field of view. Documentation while collecting geology samples is crucial to the process. Likewise, recording tire failures and conditions could be useful in reducing or preventing future failures. To document these tasks, the user can use the HoloLens to take photos and record voice transcribed notes. Time is 8.03, altitude about 5,201, we're in a very sandy region, lots of regolith. Hmm, sample, cube shape, not very smooth, medium texture. About four, four centimeters in diameter. Surface is dusty. In this clip, we take a photo of the geology sample by air tapping the button. This is a photo taken from the hollow lens of the geology sample. Here, we demonstrate using voice commands to take a photo. Cam. Cam. This is an example of using voice to text to record the condition of the tire. Your tire appears to show no damage. The PSI are most likely too low to support its weight of the car. Should be tested for leaks. Dictation turns off automatically after a set time. The text file is stored on the HoloLens for later revision. Navigation features provide a directional arrow towards the user target destination as well as the remaining distance in meters. The light level reported by a peripheral Android phone is displayed beneath the navigation marker. The icon updates once they reach their destination. To display relevant information to the astronaut, the suit sensors will transmit telemetry data to the DCU. The umbilical interface assembly, when being used, will send telemetry to the DCU over a serial connection. The DCU will then transmit the telemetry data to the augmented reality display in the astronaut's helmet using Bluetooth. 
Our peripheral device we used in our app development was an off-the-shelf Samsung Galaxy phone running Android 8.0. A common cell phone can provide a huge amount of sensor data in a very small package. We used it for GPS and ambient light data. In the future, this data can be used to adapt the applications and spacesuit to the current environmental lighting conditions, such as adjusting the brightness of the display or turning lights on the exterior of the spacesuit. Our design philosophy focused on creating apps that perform their functions with minimal processing overhead. We also want our apps to be an extension of our astronauts' capabilities in an almost second nature manner that they can rely on. This is why we included tools such as the dictated notes and photo capabilities. We want to ensure the EVA mission is successful.